What is up YouTube? I am Eric and you are watching Retro Video Game Pickups and in this video we are talking about games that I brought with me on my vacation and then a work week away from home. So if you want to know more about the games that I took out, go ahead, consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification. With that being said, let's hop into it. Okay, so I brought some stuff with me that were mainly handhelds for the most part. There's one hybrid, but you know probably what that is. Now I'm going to talk about the two handhelds that I brought with me, and that is the Game Boy Advance and then the Game Boy Color as well. I brought both of these with me. This is my preferred method of playing the Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance, or anything like that, any of those games. However, sometimes I take this with me. My wife, who I just got back from our honeymoon, I took this for her just in case she wanted to play it. And honestly, we never ended up using it. And that's because we were just busy and it happens. But I also brought my Nintendo Switch with me both to the honeymoon and then continuing on to the work week that I had that was away from home. Now, I was going to do this video while I was on my vacation, while I was on my cruise. However, the audio and the video just didn't really work out. I worked on it and I shot it and I got home and I looked at it and I, was, I just wasn't happy with it. So that is why I am standing here in this room. I plan to do some cool stuff, but I had issues with the audio and I just didn't want to give you guys a hard to hear, hard to understand video. So I had to come back here and work on it, but that's okay because I'm still going to show you about five or six games that I took with me that I absolutely love playing and really, really enjoy. Okay, so let's talk about the Nintendo Switch because that is one thing that I took both places with me and I played two games mainly. There's a few other games sprinkled in like Mario Kart or something like that. Nothing that really is a long story or anything like that. However, I bought both of these games before I went on my vacation and I love that I picked it up. Now, I picked up Child of Light and Valiant Hearts as two games on one cartridge. I'll put the link to both of these games down below on Amazon. If you are interested, you go check that out. Now, these are two indie games that are very awesome, very great games that have awesome artwork and everything like that. And honestly, I'm very glad I picked this up. However, I did already have Child of Light on the PS Vita. I played it a little bit, but I hadn't actually completed it. And I mean, this was a decently priced game and I very much enjoyed it. So I saw this, I picked it up, I grabbed it and took it with me and had a blast with this. Now I didn't get to Valiant Hearts yet, however, I am pretty sure I'm gonna love it just as much. I love the artwork of Child of Light, I love the story, I love the combat, everything about it is just a blast from the past if you like games like this. But honestly, it's a new game that is somewhat older. When I say that it's a new game that's somewhat older, it looks very good, but it is a few uh, years old, which is not a bad thing at all. I love this and it was a bunch of fun and I'm glad I picked this up because honestly, Child of Light was one that I could not put down. I mean, I was playing it every time I picked up my Switch. And honestly, that is what I love about the Nintendo Switch. I could pick it up, go sit out wherever I am, if I'm on vacation, if I'm at work, if I'm on an airplane, whatever. I can play it and then stop it, put it back in its case, go do whatever I need to and come back and enjoy it just as much as I had beforehand. And the second game is another one that I just bought, and this is actually a brand new game, and that is Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Now, this game is a very, very fun game. I haven't made it all the way through because I made it about halfway through, and my Switch died, and I never ended up saving it. So I have to restart this, but that's okay. Um, it's a very fun fighter. If you've played multiple Mar Marvel, Alliance before one or two. This is definitely a good successor to those. It's so much fun and I absolutely enjoyed playing it. I enjoyed everything about it and it was fun. It looked good. It's on the Switch. You can take it anywhere. So this is a game that I was definitely glad to put in my 
case whenever I took my Switch with me. Now, I did take a few other Switch games. Obviously, I have a big um, case that holds like 40 or 50 games. And so obviously, I put those in it. Now, I play a little bit of Mario Kart and stuff like that. Maybe a little Splatoon 2 or something along those lines. But nothing really story driven like these two games. So that is what I brought with the Switch. Now we're gonna hop over to the Game Boy and talk about the Game Boy games right now. Okay, so I have some of the games here and then I think some of them are still packed. I looked for them, but I couldn't find them, but it's been like a week since I packed these and unpacked them. So don't worry about that. I have them somewhere, I'll talk about those but I wanted to bring these games up. Now, first off is Pokemon. You guys obviously know I brought a Pokemon game. I brought Pokemon Crystal, and my wife is playing through Pokemon Red. So we grabbed both of those and put them in the game bag because we were gonna play both of those. And honestly, Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon Red are great games. If you haven't played them, make sure you do because they're great games and they're awesome to play. I also brought Kirby's Dream Land 1 and 2. Now this is 2 because, like I said, some of the games are still somewhere. I've got a mess that I have to clean up. So bear with me if I talk about some games I don't have in my hand. But Kirby's Dream Land, awesome game. 1 and 2, both are awesome. I'd played 1 before, but I had never played 2. And honestly, I love games like that. I love being able to take my Game Boy, put it in my pocket, and walk around, whether it is that Advance or that Game Boy Color. Either one is a great system to walk around with. Then I have a Japanese version of Wario Land 3. Now I don't actually have the American version or the US version or the English version, whatever you want to call it, but I have it in Japanese. So I took it with me and had fun. I love games like this. Now I also don't have the cartridge for this game, but I also brought Super Mario Land with me. I, absolutely my favorite Game Boy game. I love that game. It's so much fun. Well, Pokemon Blue or that. It depends on the day. But let's say right now, that is my favorite game. And honestly, I love playing it. I love taking it with me. I can play those levels easy and always just sit back, relax, and have fun and not worry too much about it. It's not a hard game, but it is a fun game that is a great Super Mario Brothers game. So I guess it's a um, a land game, but you know what I mean. It's a great game. I also brought with me one of my all-time favorite games is Tetris. Tetris is a game that I will always put in my bag. I will always take it. If I have a Game Boy, I will sit and play Tetris for hours. Now, what I like to do is go out on the balcony of the cruise ship that I was on, at least while I was on vacation on the cruise, and I would play Tetris. Now, I love it. I don't know why. But the puzzle is so much fun. You you do a little thinking, honestly, but it's not too much. It's not too hard until it does ramp up. But that is the fun about that game. It is a very game, very awesome game that I love to play when I grab my Game Boy. It's one of those that I always pick up if I'm taking my Game Boy or my Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, whatever. Whatever system plays that type of game, the Game Boy games, I will always make sure that is in the stack. Now, I feel like I'm missing stuff, but I feel like that's also a very good kind of list of Game Boy games that I took with me. Now, I think I'm missing one or two there, but that's okay. There's so much crap that I need to uh, do laundry and unpack and all that stuff. My house, my living room is like a mess on the floor, so uh, I'm gonna leave it at that. Those were the games that I took. Now, if I remember some and do them before I edit, maybe I'll put them in. But if not, let I want you to know that yes, these Game Boy games are a ton of fun, and most of these, if not all of these, are really cheap. Now I have Pokemon and Pokemon Crystal, or Pokemon Red and Pokemon Crystal. Those games are a little bit more expensive, but for the most part, these games are 20 bucks or less, which for a game that you're gonna get two, three, five, 10, 15, 20 hours of fun, it's definitely well worth it. So with that being said, we're gonna hop back to the middle and we're gonna kind of look at the games that got here and we will talk about a little bit of a wrap up of what I took with me. Okay, so it looks like I brought a ton of games and honestly I did, but it was about five to 10. However, I was gone for almost two and a half weeks and so I needed games to play while I had downtime. I 
probably played my Switch more than I played the Game Boys, but that is okay. I love both of those systems. Anytime I can take a handheld with me and play games, it just makes things that much better. So I want to know what you guys usually take on your vacations, whether it's a handheld like the Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance, the Game Boy Color, the Nintendo Switch, or like a PSP or a Neo Geo Pocket Color, whatever it is, I want to know what you guys take with you. I've taken every single one of those systems that I just listed on a vacation or on a trip when I go places. So I want to know what you guys think about that. With that being said, I want to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you do hit that bell notification because it lets you know when I post more videos, which is almost every day, if not every day. So with that being said, one more time, thank you so much for watching and make sure you have a good day.